I'm Lee Rodney. I'm the chairman and founder of LTR Pharma Limited. LTR Pharma is commercializing a first-in-class rapid and on-demand nasal spray treatment for erectile dysfunction. So we're targeting to be the world's first Viagra-like nasal spray on market that acts fast and on demand. We're now looking at raising uh, up to seven million through an IPO on the Australian Stock Exchange. Uh, that funding was really there to help accelerate our commercialization. We expect to be in market in Australia and in the US in 2024 and 2025. We've all heard of erectile dysfunction. It's not a nice thing for men to experience. Uh, it's been dom dominated by Viagra and Viagra-like pills on the marketplace. Uh, the problem with Viagra and those pills is that it takes up to an hour to work when it does. And, it, and the reason for that is because it's a pill, it has to go through your stomach and your liver and your digestive system uh, before it gets into the bloodstream to be effective. So it takes up to an hour to work and when you have food in your stomach, they don't work at all as well. So it's, uh, men get very frustrated when, when, uh, when these erectile drugs don't work for them. Uh, Spontan was developed by a group of researchers in California that have been specialists in, in erectile dysfunction drugs and in looking really how to make more faster, effective ways uh, for Viagra and Viagra-like products to work. Uh, so Spontan is a nasal spray. We, we are targeting to be the world's first nasal spray product on market uh, for the, that acts fast and on demand. Uh, because we, our product does, is not a pill, it doesn't have to go through the digestive system. Uh, it goes through the nasal cavities as a, as a nasal spray and that it goes into the bloodstream within five to 10 minutes. So we have a fast acting and on-demand uh, treatment for erectile dysfunction. There is four drugs similar to Viagra on market and they're all, the class of drugs are all called PDE5 inhibitors. Uh, so Viagra is one of them. It's the best, best no brand, uh, known brand out there, uh, but it's not the most effective. Um, we're working with a drug called Vardenafil. It's been approved for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. It has actually higher efficacy the, uh, published than, than uh, the Viagra pill, um, so it works a little bit better than Viagra, uh, and that's, that's our drug in our product, and it's been already approved for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. The erectile dysfunction market is a, is a multi-billion dollar market, so it's valued right now at around four, a little bit less than four billion. Uh, it's growing up to about six billion by 2025, so it's a compounding, uh, compound annual growth rate of over seven percent. Uh, erectile dysfunction is a massive issue uh, around the world for, for men, uh, and it's growing. And 30 million people in the U.S. suffer from erectile dysfunction. In Australia, once you reach the age of 45, 60%, over 60% of men suffer from uh, erectile dysfunction in Australia. So it's a massive issue uh, that's, not, uh, that's, that's only growing. Yeah, uh, we're working with an approved drug already on market, so it's for, for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. Uh, so we, we're all we're doing is changing the route of administration of an approved drug uh, from an oral pill into a nasal spray delivery. And so that gives us an expedited pathway through both the TGA and FDA processes that we're, that we're going through. So we plan to lodge uh, both applications later in 2024, uh, and then be, but we plan to be in revenue here in, in, in Australia in mid-24 uh, through the special access programs. Uh, and then filing applications with both the TGA and FDA shortly after. I've been in healthcare and commercializing products for over 20 years, uh, both in the U.S. and in Australia. I've launched products in, in, uh, throughout um, the major continents uh, in medical devices and in pharmaceuticals. Um, so we have a lot of experience in uh, commercialization and regulatory, uh, getting products approved and on market. Uh, half our team right now is set up in the U.S., and so it's led by our sales and regulatory team. And in Australia, it's our corporate and operations team uh, that, are, that are commercializing our, 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 our programs. Our board members are very experienced in ASX-listed companies. Myself, as, as the chairman, and, and Dr. Julian Chick is the uh, non-executive director, and he has many, many years of experience in pharmaceuticals and in, in, in launching pharmaceuticals, including licensing arrangements. Uh, we have good corporate governance led by Maya McGuire, who's another non-executive director, and she's a corporate lawyer but to, and has many years of experience providing legal services to ASX-listed entities. Raising a max of $7 million, which is not a lot of fun, funds, but we don't need a lot of funds because we're working with an approved drug. So our, 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 the, the majority of that uh, funding is, is going towards our clinical development, our, our clinical uh, trial for FDA and TGA purposes that we'll be using in our regulatory applications. Uh, then the, the next uh, uh, majority amount of that, those funds are used in sales and marketing, so getting prepared to launch uh, Spontan in Australia and, and then 
in the U.S. marketplace, uh, and then in manufacturing and regulatory purposes. So all of it is geared towards commercial, uh, commercial processes. Uh, we're very excited because we're entering a blockbuster market that's been dominated by a blockbuster drug called Viagra. And that erectile dysfunction market with those blockbuster drugs have issues. So they don't always work. They don't always work on the time that's needed. Uh, so there's a high discontinuation rate with those drugs uh, on market. So that, uh, that opens up a very exciting opportunity for us to come to market with a fast-acting, on-demand product that gives men the ability to live in the moment and uh, not have to plan ahead like they have to do with Viagra and Viagra-like products on the marketplace today. So that's a very exciting opportunity for us um, uh, to, to, to commercialize.